Thank you for joining me today. I thought it'd be fun we take a good look at Transformers Generation Legacy United Beast Machines Cheetor. So let's bring this guy up even closer. And as you can see, we don't have a plastic window, but it does give us a better opportunity to take a closer look at Cheetor himself. And I have to say, I love the artwork that we have here in his beast mode. Here on the back of the packaging says we can convert him into 12 steps. Here on the other side of the packaging is the promotion art for Legacy United. So let's get Cheetor out of packaging. And here we go. And you know what we say? Goodbye box. And we have instructions. Yay! And we looks like we have nothing here on the back. And we have weapons right here. So let's free Cheetor from packaging. And here we have Cheetor out of packaging. And I have to say, this guy is very yellow. And I have to say, the dots that this guy comes with don't really show as well as they should. But the prominent ones are in his chest, on the top of his head. But everything else here on the side is just very, really light. And I wish they were darker, because I feel like this figure needs it. And we see a little splash of orange paint around here. And a little bit of gold or copper right there for the abs. And we have a little bit of green. But I just want to say the head sculpt or the face sculpt that we have here of Cheetor looks like he's bugging out. And I, I don't know if it's due to the paint or it's just a weird head sculpt to me. Or the, the paint job just seems like it's not justifying the figure. Cheetor does come with his swords. And we actually have pegs right here that he can actually hold into his hand. So let's go ahead and give him some swords. There we go. And with his swords in his hand, Cheetor is unstoppable and he'll take down any of his enemies. I'll give you the camp. What you could also do with the swords. I'm going to take these off on an each side there is going to be a tab and right here in his shoulder there is a little slot so you just have to let's see get that in and let's get the other one uh, here on the other side come on there we go there we go and now he can have more of extension when it comes to his shoulders. Look at that. It's like you can't even see that at the sides there. Articulation. With Cheetor, you can rotate the head 360. You can rotate the arms 360. You can bring the arms that far out. There is no bicep swivel. There is a elbow joint that is a ball joint, so you have all that fun free movement. There is no wrist articulation. There is no waist swivel. You can bring the legs that far back. You can bring the leg that high up. There is such a range of motion in his knees, which is really nice, but there is no ankle articulation. But I feel like with this core class Cheetor, I he's actually been growing on me ever since I've just been fooling around with him. He's, he's becoming a decent figure. To transform Cheetor, we actually want to come over here by the underneath of his forearms and we just want to push the paws forward to complete the legs. Do the same thing here on the other side. Then we want to rotate the head, come here to the back and we want to flip this head all the way up, which will reveal the tail and we want to detach the tail from the back. By doing so, we'll extend the waist more and we'll just want to bring that tail out. And what we're also going to do too here we have some tabs from underneath his arms and there's some slots right underneath and there's going to be more tabs and slots right here so we're going to deal with these back legs and we're just going to collapse the legs as much as possible and we're just going to get that tab right in there and the other one 
right in there. And now they are with these tabs on the side. Oh no, we need that. There you go. And we're going to connect this other one underneath. There we go. And there we go. And now we have Cheetor fully transformed into his beast mode. I do find it completely weird at how they have him positioned and how they want you to have things locked in. And that just looks like it hurts. And I would rather untab them myself because I don't like the position that it was in. So let's get the other one from the... Come on. Untouch. Yay. So that... This is I'm finding better. There we go. I like that position better. He's getting into the prounce part. He's going to take down his prey. But, like I said, I, what I'm really disappointed about is how light the purple that we have gotten here as his spots. I wish they were actually the darker metallic color. And I feel like that would have helped make that figure pop more. And I felt like it would have helped actually spread it out through the figure itself. That would have been nice. One of the I also would have liked if they could have hide the head more. That just underneath, it just, I don't know why. Other than that, I mean, since you can, you know, have more range with his legs, this is an awesome beast mode. Not bad. I Really, it's not bad at all. This is a fun figure. And yes, there is even weapon storage in the same exact spots that we had him in his robot mode. That these will go back onto his shoulders to give him more on the spreading of his shoulders more. Showing how more dominant he is. And that is really cool. I like that works. I like that better is when you actually bring in the blades onto the shoulders. That gives it a wild look. That is really awesome. To transform Cheater back into his robot mode, let's remove his weapons. And we're just going to move them out of the way. All right, so we want to untab everything from underneath. So we just want to untab and untab. And we're going to do the same thing. Untab from underneath. And come on. Untab. And if you want to, you can straighten out the legs if you want to. There we go. And now come to the back here. And now we're just going to collapse this all in. And what's really nice. Nope. I say collapse. This tab on the tail itself. There is a slot inside, and by pushing that in, just makes that connection, like, you know, it's going to stay sealed. You're, it's not going to, you know, it's going to stay sealed. I like that. And what we can do is collapse that head, and we're going to push these paws back to the back of the arms. So push the paws back. And rotate the head. And now we have Cheetor fully transformed back into his robot mode. My final thoughts on Cheetor. He's a fun figure. He is. He might not be the best. And I wish there was probably more paint detail. Especially with the spots going on. But for the price point and for the fun you're actually going to get. Because he is really easy to transform back and forth. And... To me, that is a lot of fun. Plus, he actually has good posability. Plus, he, he can hold his swords and you can attach them to his shoulders, which I actually find really cool. Is Cheetor worth picking up? I'm going to say yes, and that's just because he's just a lot of fun to pick up and play with. He's so easy to transform back and forth, and that's what makes him a lot of fun. Well, with that said... I just have to thank you all for watching. 
if you could just do me a favor and just hit the like and subscribe button down below, let me know in the comments if you think he's shout worthy. And until next time, you'll be hearing me in the next video. Everybody have a great day!